Did you ever find something in your closet that you had no idea you had? That is exactly what happened inside a storage facility in Dallas. Now, only this was a rare medical discovery, and while it's decades old, as Sebastian Robertson reports, it may continue to help people for years to come. It almost looks like a science experiment. And it's Black and white prints and remind the staff at March of Dimes in Dallas of a fight they've won. We are an organization that moves towards success of our mission. For so long, that mission was polio. The polio vaccine eradicated polio. It is one of the most monumental, I mean, advances in, in science. Their role has shifted to improving the health of mothers and babies. But recently, in an old storage unit, they came across a very tangible reminder of the past. It's called an iron lung, a piece of medical equipment that helps a person with polio breathe. It was like a vacuum tube. Some patients so would spend a lifetime inside. I think it's important for people to understand exactly what it took to keep people alive and what efforts were made. In fact, efforts are still being made. Last year, we brought you the story of Paul Alexander and the car mechanic that worked to keep his iron lung running. Brady is one of the angels. At the time, Alexander, right here in Dallas, was likely just one of four people in the country living inside of an iron lung. In pushes in. The technology may be old, but Alexander is proof that it works. As for this antique machine, there is a mystery to it. I don't know where it came from. We've tried to trace it back and been unsuccessful. Rather than have it collect dust or scrap it for the metal, the March of Dimes is donating the device to an FDR museum in Georgia, a president that was perhaps the most famous patient. In Dallas, Sebastian Robertson, Channel 8 News. History around us everywhere. Mm -hmm.